Now to a story that reads like the script from the Hollywood movie The Other Woman. Uh, but this is real life. When three women discovered they were dating the same guy, they decided to get even in the best possible way. They dumped the guy, became best friends and have used the experience as a catalyst to go on a road trip together across America. They look like best friends, but Becca, Abby and Morgan only met a few months ago when they found out they all had the same cheating boyfriend. What happened? It's got to be something big. You were crazy about him two days ago. He's got a wife, OK? Yep, just like the Cameron Diaz movie, The Other Woman. I just can't believe you lied to me. You must hate me so much right now. I don't hate you at all. I, I got all of that out of my system with that one. How can you be so amazing? You could be friends with your husband's mistress. So this trio hatched the ultimate revenge plan, converting an old bus to go on a road trip across the US, just like their ex wanted to do. Starting in Idaho, they've travelled through Wyoming and Montana because another thing they had in common was their love of adventure. They're documenting their journey on their Instagram account, The Bam Bus. Abby and Morgan join us now from Spokane in Washington State. Good morning to you both. Um, now, Morgan, your ex was actually dating six women at once. How did you all connect with each other in the first place? Um, social media is a godsend. Um, I saw a lot of comments that got me feeling a little bit iffy, and I ended up contacting one of the other girls. She's not with us on the bus, but she's one of our best friends. And she was like, hey, I've almost sent you the same message. Like, this is insane. We need to talk. So I hop on a phone call with her. She sends me Abby's Instagram. I was like, we've got to call her. We get a hold of Abby. From there, we get a hold of Becca. Like, but two days later, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was an insane week that we just spent kind of uncovering yeah, everything. <laughs> um, oh, what a rotter. Yeah, exactly. What a dirty dog. Abby, can I just um, ask you about the look <laughs> on his face when you discovered him? Yeah. Um, so it was really crazy because we were actually all, all of us were on a FaceTime call um, just trying to figure out what we were going to do about it. We didn't know how to confront him about it or anything. Um, but he actually ended up showing up at Morgan's house um, <laughs> as we were all talking. And um, Morgan looks up and she's like, he's here right now. It's showtime, ladies. And so <laughs> she puts the phone down. Um, he, she opens the door. He had brought her a bouquet of flowers. Um, he was really excited to see her. Um, and then he was like, how, how's your day going? And Morgan looks at him and as she's taking the phone off of the counter, she says, it's great. I made some new friends. And she shows him the phone uh, where all of us had a FaceTime call and his face just dropped. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> and, and did he run or how, how did he explain it all? You know, he looked right at me after that and he was like, oh, we're going to do this right now. And I was like, yes, we are. And then we <laughs> had this long conversation call, like two hours where he in circles defending himself, being like, it was fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's not what you think. Oh, I love yeah. it. This is so good. And now you're travelling around America. Well, good luck. Have an amazing trip. We think it's a great story. Thank you so much. Good on you, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Oh, that is so good, really isn't good. it? Yeah. Uh, movie come to life.